What if I told you that learning a new coding language is as simple as opening a bank account? Okay, I'm kidding. Opening a bank account is not that easy, but learning a new coding language is. And in 2024, it's easier than ever to learn any coding language fast. And that's exactly what I'm going to be covering in this video, how you can learn new coding language in 2024 fast without spending any money. For those who don't know, OpenAI introduced ChatGPT two years ago, and since then, generative AI has become mainstream. And if you still don't know about generative AI tools like ChatGPT and Bard, you are definitely living under a rock. For those who don't know, ChatGPT is a natural language processing tool that allows you to talk to it naturally like how you would talk to a human. So in our case, we're going to pretend that ChatGPT is our virtual teacher and we're going to have it customize the learning for our skill set, for our background, and have it teach us the way that we can learn. Think of it like a virtual assistant or a virtual teacher, but it's AI version and it's free. The language that we're going to be focusing today is on Python. Python is one of my favorite language, somebody who has been working in the data space. I love Python for its data visualization and data analysis capabilities. There are so many cool libraries in Python that I have used for doing data analysis and doing visualization. I find Python to be like very versatile and easy to learn, especially as a first language. So we're going to be focusing on Python today. First thing we're going to do with ChatGPT is we're going to configure it. We're going to configure it by giving it some basic understanding of who I am and who you are. What is your background? What is your skill set? How much Python you know already? how you're going to be using it, what's your use case, are you using it for data analysis or data visualization or some other use case that you are using Python for building programs and so on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to OpenAI website. I'm currently using ChatGPT4, so I'm going to go because I have a paid subscription. But for this exercise, I'm going to go to GPT 3.5, which is the free version. The reason I want to do that is because I want to make sure if you're using the free version, you are able to leverage the same capability that I am. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to train ChatGPT to tell it exactly what I want it to do. So I'm going to say, So now I have configured it. Basically, I'm telling it what my background is. I know SQL. I don't know any coding language. And the language that I want to learn today is Python. Use case for learning Python is that I want to be able to do data analysis using Python. I want to create cool visualizations using Python. My role is a data scientist. And my goal in learning Python is to be able to do data analysis and data visualization. I'm going to now enter this. So then this is ChatGPT can kind of like start giving me instructions. It has already given me kind of like a roadmap. But let's see. I want to make it more specific. So I'm going to ask it. Can you create an eight week curriculum for me to learn Python? So now that I've configured it to be more specific to data space, it's going to give me more specific curriculum, data curriculum that I can use for learning Python. So it has broken it down into weekly subjects that I need to learn. So the week one, I'm going to be learning basic Python. Day one, I'm going to be installing, ins installing Python and day three to four, I'm going to be learning about variables, data types, basic inputs. Second week, I'm going to learn Python data structure. Week three, introduction to libraries, data visualization, data analysis, and pandas, and so on. And the week eight is final project. OK, I can keep building on this further. For example, now I can ask ChatGPT, OK, during week one, give me material that I need to learn and I need to cover. So this should give you a basic idea of what I mean when I say define curriculum. But in order to define the curriculum, you just don't want basic curriculum from ChatGPT. You want to configure it first. You want to give it as much detail as you can about yourself so it can give you very customized curriculum that I don't think any of the online course is able to give it to you unless you hire a private tutor and they're able to like learn about you and give you an idea. So let's say you have defined the curriculum. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to have it teach you specific subject. For example, in week three, one of the things that is going to teach me is about the Python libraries for data visualization. So one of the libraries that is going to teach me is NumPy and operations. So what I'm going to say is that can you provide more detailed learning material for NumPy? Okay, so basically now it gave me like day one, day two, and day three NumPy plan. So here's another example where it says on during week six, it's going to teach me merging and joining data. So I'm going to ask it to give me more detailed plan on this. So as you can see that I can keep building specific days, specific subjects, and I can kind of like keep building it out. Now, I do want to say that this ChatGPT or any other generative AI tool will give you the curriculum. It's up to you to actually do the work and learn it. It can give you everything that you need, but you actually need to put the effort to actually start learning. So follow the plan and you will learn the language in eight weeks 
if you are able to like finish all the things that it has said. On the topic of generative AI and data analysis, I wanted to share this super cool data analytics program by Career Foundry, who is also sponsoring this portion of the video. The program has elements of generative AI, so it not only teaches you data analytics, but also teaches you how to use generative AI in your day-to-day -day work to be more productive and work smarter. The learning material is organized in three segments. First, you get intro to data analytics and cover various topics. Then data immersion, which is hands-on experience on all the topics that you have learned so far. Again, great way to learn anything new is learn something and then apply. This is what I really like about this program. And lastly, you get to pick a specialization. You either get to pick data visualization with Python or machine learning specialization. This is amazing because the specialization allows you to go deeper into specific data analytics topics. You'll get access to expert mentors and tutors and get to graduate with a professional portfolio in data analytics. And most importantly, there's job guarantee that ensures that you land a job with an six months of graduation or they will refund your tuition. Use the link below to learn more and get 20% discount. Now let's go back to the video. Another thing that I can do with it is have it teach me specific subjects. So if I want to keep building on teaching me specific subjects, so I can ask it one more question is like, how do you join two data sets in Python? So that would be, it give me coding snippets on how I join two data sets. If you do have the paid version, you can actually upload the data set and then have it join for you. But for the purposes of learning something, this is actually pretty cool. Okay, so now let's say you are coming from SQL and you want to learn Python. Let's say if you have a SQL code that you have already written and you understand it, you can actually have ChatGPT write a Python version of it. So let's do that. Turn this SQL code into Python. That's another way to basically learn the language is to transition from your existing coding language and have it convert it to the new coding language that you want to learn. And I can do this on so many different languages. I can convert from Java to Python, Python to Java, and JavaScript to some other language. So the options are endless and the possibility with generative AI and what you can learn and how creative you can be with your learning plan and configuring it is totally up to you. And this is why learning coding language in 2024 is easier than ever before because a virtual teacher is at your fingertips available for free. Um, another cool thing that I would like to mention is that what OpenAI recently introduced is custom GPTs. Let's say you learn something today and you come back to it tomorrow, but your session has ended. So what you can actually do is you can build a custom GPT for yourself where you can do all the configuration and build a Python teacher. If you don't wanna build your own custom GPT, I actually have built this Python teacher GPT that I'm gonna link in the description below. Feel free to use it. This way you won't have to configure it every time. And if you really want to spend money then this is one of the ways that you can build a virtual teacher python teacher that is customized to your learning style customized to your skill set and your background and your skill level and then you can like come back to that gpt and like learn from it whatever your study plan is whether that is six weeks or eight weeks or whatever another cool thing if you have the plus subscriptions definitely try out the advanced analysis feature previously it was called code interpreter i've done one video on this you can watch it somewhere here if you want to learn how to use code interpreter and do the advanced data analysis it is not as great I was, as I would like it to be, but for somebody who is learning a new coding language and wants to learn a new coding language such as Python specifically for data analysis, then that's a good exercise because you can actually watch it produce code in the background and you can learn how it did that analysis so you can like use it as like a learning moment for you. So let's say you are trying to learn and you come on Stack Overflow, you come across some code, but you need some more explanation on the code. You can copy paste that code and put it into ChatGPT and have it explain the code to you. For example, here, what I did is I gave it some code and I said like add some commentation around it. I can keep building on it if there is like specific coding line that I don't understand. So that's another way to learn. When I was learning Python, I actually looked at my coworkers code and I ran it line by line and that's how I understood it. Back then ChatGPT or Generative AI did not exist, but it existed back then. I would have done the exact same thing that I'm telling you right now is have it the ChatGPT explain it to you. Back then I used my coworkers to have them explain their code. That's a great way to learn, but if you want to be self-sufficient, especially if you don't have access to other people around you, then ChatGPT can do a really good job teaching you. You can also use it for debugging, pair programming. Debugging especially is my favorite. Let's say if you wrote some code and it's not working, obviously like try to learn it on your own and figure it out on your own. But if you do hit a dead end, that's when you can like use ChatGPT and say like, can you help me debug this code and tell me what exactly is wrong? That's again, another place where ChatGPT has been really, really helpful. All right, with all that it does, I can't believe that this 
this tool is still free and it's not just one tool. There are so many other tools, ChatGPT, Bard, Claude AI, and I'm sure there are a few more that I'm missing right now, but these tools are there to help you. So use that to your advantage. Learning coding language is one of the best use cases that I can think of with generative AI. I'm sure there are tons of other things that you can do with generative AI, but learning a new coding language, learning anything new is so satisfying because the learning material is so customized. Now it goes without saying that there are definitely drawbacks to using these tools. And especially if you're new to a coding language, you might not be able to identify if what is wrong, what is right. So definitely be cautious when using any of the generative AI tools. It also gives you a somewhat generic answer, even though you can try to customize it and configure it, still some of the responses can be very generic. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say today. If you learned something from this video, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in comments how you have been using ChatGPT, what other videos you would like to see on learning a new coding language or data analysis or anything like that. With that, thank you so much for watching. Happy new year and I'll see you in the next video.